Now, uh, let's read the next paragraph. It was really strange. He, the quick and clever fox, had not caught a petridge even after five minutes racing. How could that be? The petridge seemed to become stronger every minute. And all the while, she led the fox away from the hill where her babies were hiding. After a quarter of miles race, Mother Petridge rose into the sky and flew away through the woods. So, uh, it sounds strange. Why? Because how this uh, clever and faster fox, every time he fails to catch the bird. And she was getting stronger every minute. Every minute there is a change in her behavior. At first, she was limping, fell onto the ground and then suddenly she became stronger. And what he, what it did? She was moving faster and faster and took the fox away from her babies. That is, she succeed in protecting her babies from this fox okay now let's read the next paragraph the fox was completely surprised now he realized that the petridge had made a fool of him he also remembered that this was not the first time he had been fooled just this way but he never understood why she did this mm -hmm. so the fox was so surprised and realized that the bird was making him fool he remembered that she uh, that he was fooled earlier also but he did not understand why she did like that he got no idea the fox had no idea that uh, the mother petridge was trying to keep the fox away from the babies right okay let's uh, see the next one on next paragraph you see the fox did not know that mother petridge was keeping him away from her babies as the fox was not aware that the mother petridge was trying to keep him away from her babies. So, here the uh, mother petridge is trying to protect her babies from the fox. Okay. Now, let's read the uh, next paragraph. Meanwhile, mother petridge flew in a great circle. She did not go straight to her babies so that the fox could not follow her. She took a different and longer way to go back to the title, sorry, to the little first balls who were hiding and waiting for her. Now Mother Petridge started flying in a circle, but she was not moving straight. Rather, she took a long and different way to go back to her little first balls. So here what is the meaning of first ball? First ball means uh, it, here it is taken for the small babies. Okay. And what is the meaning of first ball? First ball means uh, balls of soft and very fine feathers. Okay. So she took a long way to go back to her babies who were waiting for their mother. Okay. Let's uh, read the next one. Paragraph. Wild birds have an excellent memory for places. Mother Petridge went to the very grass she had stepped on. She stood for a moment fondly to admire how perfectly quiet her children were. Even when they heard her step, not one of them moved. So, uh, here what happened now? 
of wild birds these wild birds have an excellent memory they are good in it means they are good in remembering the places so uh, she went back who mother petridge went back to her babies and she was happy she was so pleased to see that uh, they all were so quiet even when they heard the step of her mother they did not move from there and she admired this right who mother petridge she admired her babies why they remained quiet even when she entered right okay let's read the next paragraph then mother petridge said crit come children and instantly the baby petridge the baby petridge came out of their hiding places it was like magic the baby on the chip opened his big little eyes and ran to hide under her broad tail and enemy could not have heard his sweet little peep peep three feet away but mother petridge would have heard if it it was thrice as far now mother uh, petridge started calling all her babies and they all came out from their hiding places the baby who was on the chair came uh, came running to her mother and tried uh, to hide under her broad tail though an enemy cannot hear his sweet little peep peep of voice but a mother petridge can hear it if it is or if it was thrice as far she can hear her peep peep from a distance right so that's the power of a mother now all the other babies joined their mother and all of them were very happy so soon all the 11 babies they all joined their mother and all of them were very happy okay so uh, what is the moral of the story the moral of the story is here a mother is always a mother either it's a human mother or animal mother it's love is mm-hmm. unconditional and endless it is purest and the most devoted a mother is always protective for her kids so i hope you have understood the story so listen to the audio or sorry listen to this video and try to understand that's all for today thank you